Horn lizards in general are a really unique group of reptiles found throughout the desert southwest, but the uh, Texas horn lizard is the um, largest of the species and unique uh, animal that's the Texas state reptile. Texas horn lizards have been in decline about 30% across their range in Texas. We drive a series of uh, dirt roads throughout the ranch and whenever an animal is sighted, we stop, we run out there, we catch it by hand, um, and then we collect data on it, its length, its width, its weight, its sex, uh, any physical descriptions, GPS locations, and uh, we also check to see if it has a uh, pit tag or a unique identifying number. If it doesn't, then we would then put a small pit tag in the animal, which is a, basically an electronic barcode where we can follow the animal for the rest of its life. When we're done collecting an animal, it usually takes about five to 10 minutes to collect the data. We release them at the same site that they were collected at. Our ultimate goal is to be able to collect good information on a healthy population of horn lizards and potentially reintroducing them into areas where they once lived and are now extirpated. If you see a horn lizard, leave it alone. Take notes, take pictures. You can even report it to Texas Parks and Wildlife. They have a great program. And other than that, good habitat management, not using heavy pesticides. Those are the kind of things that can be done to keep horn lizards healthy. If the habitat is healthy um, and the invertebrates are there, that Texas horn lizard should be there. So they're kind of a species we can look to see how healthy the environment in that area is. Texan or non-Texan alike, everybody should support the Texas horn lizards and move forward with saving this species.